Hello, BSR Nation. Good morning to you all. It's a beautiful fall day. It's not officially fall, but it feels like it. The leaves are changing on the trees. Looks like we're going to have a beautiful show this year. See that? And that. And that. We're going to talk about a couple of things today. This won't be long. Number one, we're going to talk about your resources. Resources that will help you to circumvent some of the things that are coming down the pipeline in our economy. And I always say there's nothing new under the sun. Everything that we are going to see and or experience, we have seen it all before. The economy. Remember the big short. Remember what happened in 2008. A lot of us hardworking people worked head to the head to the grind every day and we ended up losing everything and um, knowing that that has already happened and seeing that situations are lining up again for if not the exact same thing to happen to, to people, worse. Make sure you have your resources lined up. And in my opinion, the most important resource outside of Christ Jesus and your mind happens to be shelter. Yes some kind of shelter, a roof over your head. The banks are already starting to play the old okie doke. And when I say okie doke, I mean playing games with your mortgages, trying to trick you into taking out second mortgages or, okay, if, say for instance, you are behind on your bills and let's, let's say credit card bills. But you're a homeowner. You are a proud homeowner. You get a letter in the mail from your mortgage company. And what they suggest is you take out, you take out your equity <laughs> and you pay off those bills that are in the rear. Well, in my opinion, and this is only my opinion, I, I don't believe that's a good reason to take out the equity in your home from your mortgage because if you are in a situation where you can't afford your credit card bills or or, um, or hospital bills or things of that nature when you take out your equity to satisfy what's in the rear it's just going to accumulate back up again and then what will you do and if you continue to um, to struggle with your finances and try to divide up and pay everything something's something's got to give something's going to hurt in most cases everything does and thus is the beginning of the end of your home ownership the roof over your head so that's the most important thing guys to me do everything you can to avoid and circumvent that from happening to yourselves there's no such thing as debtors prison unless it's the IRS <laughs> you pay your taxes because that is the law and that will that will catch up with you in a legal way but um you have to choose. 
you have to choose there's there's a, a principle called the law of least resistance you have to decide also when to apply that when is it best to just go with the flow or stand strong make smart money moves make chess moves instead of checkers keep yourself right resources I'm going to tell you about a couple of resources that we haven't talked about yet. Knowing that this is coming in our immediate future, it's happening now. The, the economy is taking a downturn. Um, sometimes resources can be in the people that you care about. Yes, I'm not saying, you know, that everyone is out here to rescue you However, sometimes a resource could be a good close friend who does care or family member. Or, or, or sometimes you can be a resource to someone else. And also, um, the government is not coming to save you. I want to tell you that if you didn't already know. If you don't know, now you know because I told you. Um, small organizations, smaller organizations within your community, be, believe it or not, they can be very, very useful resources. And they're often overlooked. So keep that in mind. If you ever, if you ever need some help with, with something, look at the organizations within your own community and do not be ashamed or afraid to to reach out you'll be surprised at who you will find standing in the line right behind you everybody needs a little something sometimes everybody can give a little love some time so there you have it resources can be in the least expected places and or persons and the most important thing outside of Christ Jesus and your mind is shelter Keep yourselves protected. Keep some kind of shelter, roof over your head. If you have friends that you can reach out to, if, if you find yourself in need, don't be ashamed to reach out. And small organizations in your community, the United Way for one of them. You know, look at, look at um, organi organizations like that. The United Way has a program called uh, the Achievement Club. I'll tell you about that at another time. The Achievement Club is awesome, sponsored by the United Way. It's a goal achievement program, whereas you choose the goals that you wish to attain and after you achieve them, you take the proof to your club leader and they actually pay you for doing things that you should be doing to help yourself in the first place. But they pay you for it. Anyhow, think about, think about everything that we've talked about today. And until next time, remember, repeat after me, I am beautiful, I am worthy, I am awesome, and God never changes. You 